people, Zar Thwomp here, and welcome to the first episode of my new Let's Play, Crash Twin Sanity. One of my favorite entries in the Crash Bandicoot series, which is the case for a lot of other people, even though this game is arguably the black sheep of the series. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, new game. The suspense is truly palpable. Okay, so anyways, here's my practice file. I was going around using it for just getting everything everything configured. So let's go empty. File two. Crash! Crash! Where are you, big brother? There's something weird going on in the bay! Come see! <laughs> okay, so anyways, this game has an autosave function. Basically, you enter a new area and a golden crate will open up, thus autosaving the game for you. But anyways, one thing that is drastically different about this game from other entries in the Crash series, whereas most other games in the series have a map screen, you basically select the level, and then basically you go into the stage, this game is actually all open world. On top of that, basically, where wh while the goal of many other Crash games is basically get crystals, and then basically progress, and then you fight the bosses, then you go to the final boss, this game is actually all about just story. So basically, while there are crystals, they aren't ex they aren't basically this big collectible. They're more or less there. But anyways, Aku Aku tutorial. It is I, Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. So anyways, in this game, Aku Aku, he's like, I will protect you, Crash. Meanwhile, this is the game where Aku Aku is at his weakest. Because basically, in every other Crash game, if you touch Nitro Crates or TNT Crates with Aku Aku, basically, it'll just cast a hit and you'll lose Aku Aku. But if you do it in this game, you die instantly. So basically, Aku Aku is at his weakest. And on top of that, basically, you get no music if you just... If you get three Aqua, three Mithrices, you basically just get. I'm sorry. You basically just get Aqua Aku on Crash. Yeah, and just getting hit there. So, anyways, we have Crash's digging hole. But, anyways, as I was saying, I was saying, just really, it was as if Traveler's Tale had a hatred of Aku Aku. Where basically they were, they were like, oh, what? Who is this mask guy? Who does he think he is? We're going to absolutely nerve him. Because seriously, between just Aku Aku's short invincibility period during Crash Wrath of Cortex in this game, it was as if Traveler's Tale just had it out for him. So, anyways, as you can see, we actually have colored gems right from the get go. That is because the color gems do not operate in the same way in this game as they do in other games in the series. We're basically in other games of the series. They're used to create platforms and used to basically unlock just and unlock new routes and get a special ending. But in this game, there is no special ending. That these gems, they just give you bonuses like bonus art, the ability to watch cutscenes, you name it. As such, basically, it's not really that big a thing getting a 100% in this game, which is why I'm not going to be gunning for a 100%. I'll try to 100% this game, basically get as many gems as we can, show off whatever we can, but I'm not going to basically break my back over it, you know, where I'm not going to lose sleep over, oh no, we didn't get a 100%. Because, honestly, just... All you get for 100% in this game is just an additional cutscene. You don't get basically any additional dialogue, no new story details, just a funny little cutscene. But hey, it's still a fun cutscene to get. But anyways, Crash's controls are very similar to how they've been in other games in the series. You run with the control stick, press square to spin, you can basically crouch with the circle button, you can base though you can't do a high jump. Basically, as you can see, just Crash, he jumps just the same height, whether he's crouching or moving or just not crouching. You can also do your slide, but basically, 
The slide does not have the utility that it does in other crash games, where it doesn't give you a long jump. Yeah, that is could arguably be a long jump, but it's not going to help you clear any major obstacles. It's not going to be used for platforming. In fact, this game, if I have to say, basically, comparing it to other games in the series, this, act, this game's platform is actually some of the more lax in the series, where basically the main area that this game shines in is the writing. Seriously, this game does an amazing job with the writing. Okay, yeah, I think we got I think we got almost all the gems. Yeah, I'm always paranoid that I'm missing out on a gem or two. So anyways, we get these monkeys. Destroy the monkeys. Kill the monkeys! So basically, in this game, you can roll around objects. Just And the rolling mechanic is actually very solid, even though this is arguably the glitchiest game in the Crash series due to its rush development time. Basically, it does the job. So anyways, I'm going to try to see if I can actually pull off a glitch. Basically, this glitch involves this, uh, this nut, this seed. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to try to take it over here. And essentially, this is a nut skip. Or rather, seed skip. No, that's not how you do it, basically. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get this nut slash seed over to... Just get it up there, come on. No, no, come on! Get up! Basically, if you, sli if you do the slide move while pushing an object, it will send it upwards. Just remember that, because the game doesn't really teach you that. No! Ah, oh, so close! Because this seed does have a glitch that basically allows for you to actually skip a good chunk of the game. Or rather, at the very least, a good chunk of this first area. Because there are three, there are four different areas of the game. And they each have four levels to them. One hub, and then three standard levels. Come on! Okay, so anyways, I am no speedrunner of this game, as you can tell. Come on! No, no. Okay, good, good. No! Okay, how long am I going to spend on this nut? Just to try to do a speedrun trick that may or may not work for me, that I'm not even going to use. Just the lengths I do for you people. <laughs> I go for trying to show things off in the game. Okay, there we go. We got the nut up. We got the seed. Why do I keep calling it a nut? It's not even a nut. It's a it's a wumpa seed. Okay, screw the wumpa seed. Screw the wumpa seed. I I relent. I relent with the seed. Okay, so anyways, with that so with all that time wasted, let's just actually go on and play the game. So anyways, in this game, Wumpa Fruit is very common, and I mean very common. You'll just find it lying around, Cortex staring into your soul. <laughs> so yeah, basically, Cortex is the highlight of this game. As you can tell, basically, Cortex already stealing the show before the game even truly begins. So anyways, basically, if you belly flop on a cannon switch, it will just launch the object out, it'll just lob it out. Just use the crosshairs to aim. As Cortex just sets up a cannon on Wumpa Island. Just Cortex casually setting up a cannon in Crash's backyard. But anyways, as far as this game is concerned in the Crash timeline, this game takes place right after the events of Wrath of Cortex. So basically, that's why Cortex was in an iceberg with Uka Uka chasing him, because basically at the end, in the 100% ending of Wrath of Cortex, just Uka Uka and Cortex basically are jettisoned out of the space station. They land in the Antarctic area. They land in Antarctica, and Uka Uka's just chasing around Cortex. So anyways, we got all we could do there. And let's get going. So anyways, our next gem, right in front of Crash's house, where he has the giant tiki head. The giant tiki head is adding to the property values. 
But anyways, another reason why this game is actually a bit of a is a bit of an outlier in the series is if you listen to the music, it's every song in this game is actually all a cappella, and I love it. Just seriously, every song in this game is an absolute banger, and it is great. So anyways, there we go. Can't go and crash this house. So anyways, welcome to the next, the first level, Jungle Bungle. No, no, Crash's house did not trigger the autosave. That was triggered by us going to the level. And normally the autosave isn't that intrusive. It's just the first time, with Cortex just staring at us. Come on, follow me, Crash. Stay close and do what I do. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Basically, follow Cortex, play a traditional Crash level, Cortex teaches you all the mechanics, how to jump, how to double jump, you name it, Cortex will teach you. Okay, spin the crabs. Yeah, anyways, just classic crash enemies, you got the skunks, you have got the crabs, we're even going to encounter the plants. Yeah, though anyways, one fun little game I like to play with myself is basically is how fast I can get 99 lives in this game. Because as far as life grinding is concerned, this game is insanely, is insanely generous. Okay, so anyways, before we go over there, we're going to basically just step on this cannon switch. We're not going to belly flop it, just so we can get a bomb out. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, next one. Move the cannon over here. This one's just going to require us to use the slide that we were trying to do on the nuts. Yeah, once you do that, the bomb will start ticking down. Okay. Yeah! Okay, next one. Yeah, but still, just... I love this... I love the twin sanity... The insanity island theme. It's just so jolly. It's just so upbeat. It makes you feel like you're on a gr like you're just having a fun day out, you know? This would be a good picnic song. <laughs> oh, come on, no. Okay. Let's go and roll this over here. Okay, go behind this rock. And you can find the purple gem. So basically, yeah, each stage is going to have six gems, same with the overworld. Though the overworld is a lot more compact when it comes to spreading them out. Yeah, these first few levels, they're going to be relatively straightforward when it comes to collecting the gems. Though there are a few levels out there that we'll be coming across that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. But like I said, when it comes to getting all the gems, it's more or less just a little fun thing to do on the side. Just, hey, can you find all the gems? Just a little something to to make you want to backtrack to the levels and just go exploring it some more. So yeah, just if you if you're having pro problems finding a certain gem or the like, don't worry. It's not like it's you're going to be missing out on anything major. So anyways, with that said, slide. Just walk around that guy. Our power is too grand. Just look at that. I I don't even know what he's doing. What what is he? What is his strategy? What is this man's strategy? We'll, we'll just leave him. We're just gonna leave him. Okay, but anyways. Yeah, and there, as you can also guess, there are no time relics in this game. So, yeah, just everything about this game. Just casual, casual platforming. Seriously, this game is the definition of just casual platformer. And nothing wrong with that. It's a lot of fun. Okay, nothing over there except the waterfall, some wreaths, cortex. What have we got? Adios. <laughs> it's true. Blondes do have more fun. Okay, but anyways, if you were Anyways, basically, if you noticed during that cutscene, you heard the Aku Aku Mask sound effect. The reason for this, and don't quote me on this, but just this is from what I've seen after looking through various videos. Basically, 
the game is trying to hide the truth. Basically, when Crash enters a cutscene, he will instantly be put up to max Aku Aku, basically giving him invincibility. Which is why you, there isn't a theme, I believe. Though, basically, that's just my thoughts on it. Okay. So anyways, we're not dealing with the worm just yet. It's true. Blondes do have more fun. Okay. So, with that said, let's actually play the game. Let's not die. But still, yeah. If this was a traditional cra crash game, Aku Aku would have protected us from, that, from those nitro crates. He would have protected us from that TNT. But instead, no, we just die to it instantly. And it kind of messes with your head, you know, where it's like, hey, I'm so used to Aku Aku actually protecting us from hazards. So what the heck, game? What the heck? This Aku Aku lies. He does nothing to protect Crash. He does nothing to protect. So anyways, slam the worm. Hop, because as we all know, blondes do have more fun. Okay, well at least we're back up to our... We at least increased our lives back, so it's all good. But, okay, let's go. Slam down this TNT. Yeah, but seriously, just Cortex is the star of the show of this game. Uh, I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. <laughs> the spikes broke my fall. Okay, well, where's the last gem? I know I said that I wasn't going to worry so much about it, but where is it? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of this! But I'm not going to do it no more! When enemies go on strike. But basically with this guy, you can just defeat him like any other enemy. missing a gem I feel like I'm going crazy looks like we're not 100% this game after all okay yeah we're missing the green gem okay yeah, this guy gonna drive this is gonna drive me a little crazy yeah don't play like Zarthwomp Surprised to see me crash. Like the fleas in your fur, I keep coming back. Three years I spent alone in the frozen Antarctic waste. And I miss you. And so I've organized a little gathering, like a birthday party, except the exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. You are so very popular. Let's start handing out the presents. Yeah, but for this polar being insanely pissed after being excluded from Wrath of Cortex as well as Crash 3. Seriously, just polar did not take that well. So anyways, this fight. It's essentially Cortex's fight from Crash 1, except, well, you got more open arena. But just seriously, Cortex's plan in this game, just Cortex scraping the bottom of the barrel, where basically just he goes from just trying to manipulate Crash and getting all the power crystals, teaming up with Uka Uka and Entropy to go back in time and get crystals. And then basically you get the, then basically in Wrath of Cortex, reviving the elementals, so that way he can basically power crunch his super bandicoot. And then basically you get this game where Cortex is pulling off some Looney Tunes stuff. Where basically just Cortex knocking Coco out, posing as her, alluring Crash into this trap of just all of his enemies who do nothing except stand to the side. Though it's kind of odd how Cortex would team up with Noxide, considering that Noxide kind of just hated them all. 
unless we're considering basically cr Nox Crash being the uh, the canonical character of tag team of team racing. Eh, cannot talk. Okay, let's go. Yeah, good thing those spikes were there. Break Cortex's fall again. And before you ask, no, there are no subtitles in this game. Which has kind of spawned a, a few jokes involving just what certain characters are saying. So anyways, this fight, even though basically Mecha Bandicoot has one of the largest health mirrors in the game, just, he goes down relatively easily. Basically just dodge the missiles, step out of the way of the chainsaw, and then spin the blob back. Anyways, but I've been doing some thinking just right during this fight, and I think th this is what we're going to do. I'll have a bonus episode in which basically I'll go back to all the levels that we did 100% and I'll show off just what gems, where the missing gems are. Yeah, that'll do. That'll work out very well, I think. Anyways, at this point, it's just spin the blobs back. Because engine cannot do anything else. This is my strategy, Dr. Cortex. I'm sticking with it. instance of Crashing Cortex teaming up in this game, even though the team-up is very loosely implied. Because basically at this point, just Crashing Cortex are engaged in such a violent brawl that basically that they're actively moving and they're actively platforming. So anyways, if you actually hold still, you can actually see just a bunch of different moves. Just Crash trying to choke Cortex out. <laughs> okay, then for Cortex, just Crash doing a full Nelson on Cortex. Or is this technically a half Nelson? Actually, I think that's a full Nelson. Crash choking Cortex. Like, come on, show some of Cortex's ones. But still, during this fight, I can't help but think that basically Crash, that co while Cortex is actively trying to kill Crash here, he's fighting for his life, Crash is just treating it like a fun little game. Seriously, look at Cortex. Just Cortex just slamming Crash into the ground like it's a like it's a like it's a bar fight. And then Cortex going in with the spank. Cortex is going absolute just cruel father mode. Crash, you have been a very naughty boy. You are going to get punished. This is for not giving me the crystals, Crash. This is for not giving Engine the crystals like I told you. Yeah, just Cortex trying to actively kill Crash while Crash just uses it as some some sort of father-son bonding activity. Okay, so anyways, for this one, the gems are a lot more straightforward here. For the first gem, just go down the left path, missing the extra life, because why would we want to miss an extra life? Come on, let's grab it. There we go. Get some more lives. And the funny thing is that, basically, if you have Aku Aku with you, basically, just, he'll just sit there and watch. He's not even going to try to intervene. He's just going to be like, you know what, Crash? This is your fight. This is your fight. I'm just going to let you, I'm just going to let you handle it, Crash. I'll give you some slight protection, but, eh, for the most part, this is you. Yeah, the only thing about this form is that you, that momentum is kind of hard to maintain. Just once you slow down going up a hill, you're going to keep going slow. Okay, next gym. Okay, we're not gonna go into the toxic mist. Though I can't help but wonder who set this up. I mean, is this Cortex's mine? Does Cortex just Cortex just set up some hazard toxic waste mine? I wouldn't be surprised if Cortex set up some hazard hazardous waste mine. 
Okay, so anyways, we get two extra lives. Just go over there. Very easy, though if you just want to continue on with the level, just go this way. No, 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 no. Okay, that was close, that was close. Thankfully, the trap door does close. Crash knows no mercy. Crash only knows pe knows how to inflict pain. This is what happens, Cortex, when you basically just traumatize Crash. Okay, so anyways, just be cautious of those little rocks. They may seem harmless, but they will push you. Okay, there's our next gem. Just head over here, and we get to do some platforming. Don't go over the ledge. Just Cortex slam and crash to the ground. Just Yeah, Cortex managing to stay on top during these falls. Except there, just Cortex's back. It's absolutely shattered. Yeah, Crash, he knows no mercy. Crash is only merciful when he feels like being merciful. Okay, anyways. For this section, there is another gem. And if you fail to get this one, you're going to have to go back to the entire level. You get one shot at this one. One shot. Because right when we, we reach the bottom here, we're getting a checkpoint. So anyways, go left. And there we go. Okay, yeah, we'll finish up this level. Okay, so anyways, this is supposed to be some sort of enemy encounter with the ants, basically. A recurring foe that we'll be seeing throughout the game. These guys, they take two hits to defeat. Though you don't really have to worry too much about them, because they're, for the most part, going to be going after the boxes. So basically, just ignore them. Oh, you can also take them down with a single body slam. But, now that they're all dead... Yes! The crystal is mine! Ah! Keep back, you weak-minded fool! Avert your gaze or you'll go crystal crazy! Yeah, that's one of those lines that just sticks out in my head, just Cortex screaming, CRYSTAL CRAZY! Okay, so anyways, let's get an Aku Aku. This Aku Aku does not want to be with Crash, apparently. Aku Aku just does not want to join forces with Crash! What the heck? Yeah, Aku Aku, I will protect you. Just spit into my crate and I will come to you. Meanwhile, Aku Aku, also Aku Aku, just Crash spins into the crate. Just, eh, I don't feel like it. Yeah, what the heck? Just these inert Aku Aku crates! Yeah, Aku Aku! Great protector, my ass! Seriously, Aku Aku just feels like just a minor is a, a minor form of assistance. Throw me over there. Trust me. We're pals, right? <laughs> We're just that close of just come on, trust me. We're friends. Anyways, you can do the jump and circle button combo to throw Cortex, or you can be cool and spin and throw him. Square and circle. That's what the cool kids do. Not to mention it's a little faster. The one thing about Cortex and his AI, just Cortex just dancing like that. Cortex doesn't care. Cortex is just rocking it. But anyways. Yeah, basically, if you throw Cortex and he's near enemies, he will actually fire his gun at them. So basically, Cortex is a great way to actually deal with enemies. Though Cortex can still die to things like Nitro, TNT, enemies. Basically, so just be cautious. Okay, go, go, go. I know, what the? I fell through the ground! 
around. I fell to the ground there. I wasn't. The, the door wasn't even open. Did I mention that this game is one of the buggiest in the series, basically? Though that bugginess was caused by the fact that this game was very much rushed, as you'll see as we progress through. So, anyways, another fight section. How many crystals do we have? Okay, just two left. No, 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 no. Okay, dodge. And we missed out on extra life. Hurrah. Okay, so anyways, this section. Just we're going to be learning about just how crystals can be hit with Cortex. As well just as well as getting a bunch of Wumpa fruit from those from those strong crates. C come on! Cortex, you're supposed to hit it! Use your head! Okay. There. Okay, come on. You know, it's kind of odd. Cortex can teleport, yet he doesn't use it to exit an area. He just toughs it out. Okay, so anyways, I think the final two crystals are going to be here. Wait, did I turn the volume down? Okay, it actually maintained. Huh, cool. Not used to seeing that in games. Normally when you do a new game, it's like, oh hey, you gotta reset all of your options, all your configurations. Anyways, hit the crystals to slow down the drill. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, there's the next one. Okay, another crystal. Okay, there we are. So anyways, if Crash is running here, something funny actually, wait, oh come on, it didn't happen, the Crash Moonwalk glitch didn't happen, darn it. Okay, but looks like we're missing out on a gem. Okay, so let's just move, just progress with things. Yeah, you're going to find a lot of these sort of areas throughout the game where basically just transitional sorts. Do I have the balls to do this? I had the balls to do it, but I don't feel like getting the life. Yeah, I proved myself. I proved myself at... I still die! What have I got? Well, at least this is a good area to grind. Seriously. What have I got? Yeah, we're back up. <laughs> yeah, there it is! Just crash sliding along the ground! Just look at this! Crash has mastered frictionless movement. Look at this. Crash is just sliding. Aku Aku questions not what Crash can do. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to show that off. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Even though we missed out on our crystal, is this gonna be a tr is this gonna be a trend for this game where basically we miss out on crystals? We try to just go and get all the crystals and only to miss out on all of them. Yep, we missed out on our crystal. in there how are you fools before the awesome might of the evil prince aren't you too adorable let me see i might have some chalky treats here for you chalky treats oh, oh. we've some 
good news and some bad. The bad news? We're going to destroy your precious eye rings. We will. You won't be around to see it. Oh, I'm tired of some oh, You want to play mind games? Okay, tough guy. <laughs> Let's play mind games. This is the part where you run away screaming. Anyways, on that note, I think that now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do as you want. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.